Hello, Nathan Seidel here, founder of SparkFun Electronics, here to do an update on the High Precision GNSS line of products. For those of you who've been following SparkFun for the last couple of years, you'd recognize the RTK Facet. This is our go-to product for GNSS reception, really good in all sorts of environments. It's a, a basic L1, L2 high-precision GNSS receiver capable of RTK. Uh, it's been great for us and we've had a lot of fun developing it, but I wanted to show you a new product we've been developing over the last couple months. The RTK Torch is a combination of all the feedback that we got from users using the RTK Facet and boiling it down into an exciting new high precision GPS product today. Small but mighty, the RTK Torch has tri-band reception. That is the addition of the L5 frequency to the standard L1, L2 receiver. In addition to the tri-band reception, we got a fully enclosed waterproof IP67 enclosure and tilt compensation all built into a small compact device. There's a variety of excellent features in the RTK Torch, but the one thing we couldn't quite fit in was data logging. So if you are doing, say, basic GIS mapping, the Torch is great for you. But if you're doing something like longer term uh, surveying or research where you really need those data logs, some of our other RTK products may be a better fit for you. First off, as we mentioned, it's tri-band. Uh, this device has reception on the GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, and Baidu constellations, as well as a variety of signals on those constellations. The big ones uh, that are specific and special to the RTK Torch are the L5 on GPS, the E6 on Galileo, and the B2A and B2B on Baidu. Those signals are a little bit lower frequency than st the standard, so about 1200 megahertz, allowing them to penetrate further through things like dense canopy. So you'll find that the RTK Torch performs better than other standard L1, L2 receivers because it has that extra signal that where it's capable of receiving things in dense areas. The off-the-shelf accuracy of the RTK Torch is about 0.8 meters. That's pretty good for a GPS GNSS receiver using dual or tri-band. Where the fun begins is with RTK. So under an, a full RTK fix, the RTK Torch is capable of 8 millimeter horizontal and 15 millimeter vertical accuracy. The RTK Torch has a standard Bluetooth interface, allowing it to be compatible with nearly every GIS software out there. In addition, it has Wi-Fi capability for gaining or sending RTK corrections, as well as sending the location data over Wi-Fi. Now, let's have some fun talking about the inside of how the RTK Torch works. Through the magic of television, we can disassemble a unit, and the first thing we see is uh, this nice helical antenna um, with a combination of things. So this is the, the kept on tape with the etched copper that does the L1, L2, L5, and various other signals and frequency receptions, as well as this upper um, antenna right here that uh, handles the 2.4 gigahertz Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, as well as an additional antenna that uh, handles the lower frequency 915 megahertz uh, for the built-in LoRa radio. If we remove the antenna element, we can start to see what's going on on the inside. So for anyone uh, familiar with ESP32 based devices, this is um, exactly that. It's uh, ESP32 with some added PS RAM that allows us to do some interesting features, including receive corrections from various correction sources. Uh, below that, we've got the UM980, that is the high precision GNSS receiver from Unicore. And to the left here is the tilt sensor that allows us to capture that actual location of the end of the stick, even if we're not quite center over the point that we're trying to measure. And then uh, here in the corner is the 915 megahertz STM processor with LoRa radio built in, as well as a one watt uh, amplifier. It's a lot of technology in the RTK Torch. In addition, there's a larger battery inside the RTK Torch that will allow it to run for multiple days on a single charge. To finish out the kit, we provide a nice, high-quality, hard-sided case so you can take your RTK torch wherever you need to go. Enough talk about GPS indoors, that's no fun. Let's go outside and see this in action. So here we've got an RTK fix. Our latitude, uh, our horizontal accuracy is about 12 millimeter. Our vertical accuracy is 22 millimeter. Now, if we look at what that looks like on the map, you can see that our relative position on the manhole cover versus what we see on Google imagery is a little bit off. That's because the imagery that Google creates is, it doesn't exactly align with reality. They're very close, but it's not complete. Uh, but you can see that green dot on the map showing us the, uh, the, uh, the RTK fix. Now, if we begin to, begin to rock the pole back and forth, you can see the dot on the map move. 
and that is our 8 to 12 millimeter accuracy. Now we are in tilt compensation mode. Now what does that look like? Um, from the map, before when we tilted the rod back and forth, we could see the dot move. Now it's going to be really boring, because check this out. The dot doesn't move. That's because from the map, we can see not where the receiver is, but where the point of our stick is. So let's say that we needed to measure a point up against a wall or a bush or some other artifact where we couldn't get totally vertical. Um, we can use tilt compensation to detect with great accuracy where that point is. So that was the quick summary of how tilt compensation works on the new RTK Torch. If you want to know more, we've got an additional video right here that'll show you an in-depth explanation of how it all works. And that's the RTK Torch from SparkFun Electronics. Thanks for checking it out. The RTK Torch is capable of all this. Mm -hmm. And then, did we talk about Bluetooth? No, we haven't nope. talked about Bluetooth. In addition, there is a larger, um, let me think about that. How big is that battery? Uh,